Hello everybody, this is Riku Keyblade Master and today, um, speaking of viruses, the subject that I had stuck in my head for a little while due to this whole coronavirus thing, we are going to review the movie Wreck-It Ralph 2 aka Ralph Breaks the Internet. Now, there isn't much to really discuss about this, so this will be relatively short. Um, so we start off, first I'm going to start off by saying that if you have not seen this movie yet, I would say click away and then come back to this video. I'm going to give you a few seconds. Still with me? Good. So here we go. Here's the thing. The movie starts out with them, with Ralph and Vanellope. Von Schweetz looking up to see, waiting for the sunrise. When something new gets plugged in, that hasn't been plugged in for like a long time. So they're all panicking. They're all freaking out. Like, are we going to get a new game? What, what is it? What is it? So they're all pretty much like, yo, what the heck is Weefy? Wi Fi? And the guy, the guy with the clipboard, the little program with the clipboard comes up and says, it should say, why die? Basically, Wi-Fi is internet. And, you know, he's so negative about it. And then he ropes it off with police tape. And then he's like, nobody goes in there. That is a dead zone. Well, Vanellope, while some kids are playing her Sugar Rush game, she basically, I forgot to say that before she went into her game, she was complaining about, well, I like everything's the same, it's all predictable, yada, yada, yada. Well, Ralph makes a very strange surprise. Ralph goes into her game and tries to create for her a new track. Well, the new track is kind of, sort of, like, uh... Remember how in Cars, Lightning McQueen kind of messed up and it was all bumpy like, Whoa, what the heck is going on here? And everybody thought it was cool. Even some cars that were losing their parts in the process. Well, let's just say that it happened again. Vanellope crashes. And... But instead of, you know, being like, whoa, what the... She's like, that was awesome! Let's do it again! And... But in the midst of that, how that happened was when someone was playing the game, the girl lost control, and the controller breaks. Which is why Vanellope takes a sudden jolt and crashes. The game takes over by itself, and as a result, the controller breaks. Well, costs pretty much an arm and a leg to get a new controller. So, Ludwig decides, okay, you know what? It's not really worth it. I know you guys really like this game, but I'm going to have to call... A friend of mine and get it salvaged for parts. I'm sorry. 
So the kids are kind of sad, and he's about to, Ludwig is going to unplug the game. So she tries, so Ralph tries to get Vanellope and the others out of there. So they all have to find new homes. All the people in Sugar Rush have to find new homes until they can be reverted back or placed in a different place that suits them better. Well, Vanellope ends up going into a slump of depression because of this. And... Knowing me, I'd do the same thing too, because if I lost where I belonged, I'd be kind of, ugh, too, you know? If I lost where I belong, I'd be kind of disturbed too. I'd be pretty disturbed. Uh, so that part... Literally almost got me crying because I was like, oh my god, no. She's about to lose her home. Everything that she's ever... But then again, I'm like, you know what? Let's look on the bright side, you know? Which she eventually does and takes a chance on something new. You know, Spamly actually gives them the idea... After they go into the internet. After Ralph and Vanellope break into the internet. Um. Not before distracting the guard, of course. Saw some people making a ruckus over by the pinball court. Or whatever they said. Um. The guy goes, not on my watch, and just leaves. Hello, you're not even taking any suspicion into account. Okay, you're just gonna leave? Alright, bye. So, vamos, there he goes. He leaves, and they sneak under the police tape. Which is really... Kinda... It's funny when Ralph tries to sneak under the police tape, because it's just like, he gets under there, but it's just like, Ah, man! And Vanellope gets under there, no sweat. And, you know, it's, it's just funny. It's just funny. Um, I was kind of laughing when that scene played. Well, then they see a whole bunch of pop-ups. And they talk about a way to get rich quick without hardly trying Spam Lee keeps popping up to Ralph, and Ralph keeps going, go away, go away, go away. And then all of a sudden, Spam Lee is actually useful. So they talk about getting some racer's car. They talk about getting some girl named Shank's car. And she comes from a game known as Slaughter Race. Well, Vanellope instantly gets attached Desperately needing a new home. Afraid that she won't be able to get the controller. But before all that, Ralph gets them into trouble by bidding a whole bunch of money. Just for that controller, but for them not being able to pay for it. Then we lead over to the Slaughter Race characters. So... After meeting Ralph and Vanellope, you know, stealing Shank's car does not go over so well. But, after a while, you know, Shank and her crew talk them into going to, go, blah, 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 can't even talk today, talk them into going on to BuzzTube and making a crap ton of money there. And, you know, it's just a struggle the whole time. So then they're sent to another person known as Yes and her partner Maybe, who are basically the head coordinators of the internet. 
So, um, basically, they meet Yas, and then they become really good friends, especially her and Vanellope. But then, when Vanellope finds her new home, and hits the communicator, and Ralph hears that she might not want to go back, he becomes insecure. And starts being like, yo, can you do me a favor and give me something to put a little tiny harmless virus in the slaughter race so I can get my friend back? But in the end, it causes a huge rift between Vanellope and Ralph. Because, again, she crashes while trying to get out of Slaughter Race. She crashes once again. And this time, she doesn't have that feeling, That was awesome! Let's do it again! She has this feeling of, oh my god, what the heck just happened? And then, when Ralph confesses that it was him that wanted the virus in Slaughter Race to begin with, um, Vanellope's like, what? You did that? You put a virus in this game? You did it? Like, she was miffed. She was so mad, bro. Not even funny. She was so mad. And I wouldn't blame her. I couldn't blame her. Like, you did it. You endangered me just to try to get me back. That's not exactly the right way to try to get someone back, you know. Or keep their friendship. I never said I didn't want to be your friend anymore, but you are being a pretty crappy friend. And then it copies Ralph's insecurities. After basically having a falling out between him and Vanellope, the virus copies Ralph's insecurities. And yeah... Hijinks ensue and they go to the search egg. Uh, Mr. Nozal? Or something like that? I think that's what his name is, Mr. Nozal. Um, and they're like, okay, we need a way to eradicate this virus now. So they hide in, him and Vanellope hide in the, um, in his little, you know, behind his desk. They close the shield. And that doesn't work. Turns out, the only way was for Vanellope to lead them to basically the edge of the net. But, Ralph takes one for the team, gets grabbed, and basically squished to death almost. And Vanellope's like, fine, you win, I'll go. Just don't hurt him, okay? I'll be your only friend, I swear it. And I like literally almost cried when Ralph was getting squished to death. I was like, oh my god, dude. Come on, no! Oh, man, the stupid virus! Anyways, so... Yeah. So then, Ralph accepts that, you know, it's okay if she doesn't want to be in Sugar Rush anymore. It's, it's... If she has more fun in Slaughter Race, then that's fine with him. That is totally fine with him. He's cool with it. And he feels a lot better about it, which in the end defeats the insecurity. Then, all is well, and they go to work. And 
Vanellope really loves her new job, and Ralph is still kind of eh, about letting her go, but at the same time, he's like, nope, I'm not going to be insecure again. So he keeps basically going like this. Even after she's off the stairwell, even after she's up the stairs and into her place. And it was awesome. Um, we find out that Ralph joins a book club with Sonic and this wrestler dude and some other people and uh, Fix-It Felix and What's-Her-Name still have the kids, still have the Sugar Rush gang um, and whatnot. And wow. It just was a all-around happy ending. I mean, it was sad for the fact that Vanellope, like, they risked a lot to get to that happy ending. But eventually, yes, they did still get the controller for Sugar Rush also. Although, I don't think the kids noticed too much that Vanellope was gone. Maybe, you know, it's just... Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, during the whole thing, she meets up with all of the Disney princesses, and she has nothing in common with them, but one quality. Did everybody assume your problems got solved just because a big, strong man came to solve your problem? Yes, what is up with that? And it was so funny trying to see uh, them save Ralph. Oh, my God. He ended up in a Snow White dress. <laughs> oh, my God. That was funny. Oh, man. I had to rewind several times just to see that scene again. That was funny. And literally, the person who kissed him... Uh, He's like, thanks, Frogger, when really it looks like... I couldn't tell if it was Frogger or Pascal. I really couldn't tell. But then again, it must have been Frogger, because Pascal didn't have the, um... The pink, uh... Thingy, majig he always carries around. He or she always carries around. Um... Yeah. I don't know if Pascal is a boy frog or a girl frog. I don't know. All I know is, is that Entangled, you know, it had this pink thing that it always carried around, and it protected Rapunzel. So, if anyone wants to eliminate for me whether Pascal is a boy or a girl, I would greatly appreciate that. But, regardless, that has been my review for Wreck-It Ralph to Ralph Breaks the Internet. And honestly, I would give it a watch. For me, I mean, for some people it would seem like much isn't happening. But for me, it was sort of a 10. Honestly. It was a 10 for me. It was a 5 star for me. I actually liked it. It was cute. Although, unfortunately, there were no Kingdom Hearts cameos. Oh, man. Uh, that was a uh, hit to the gut. Yeah. That was not cool, man. It would have been awesome. But, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Comment, rate, subscribe to become a Keyblade wielder and stay awesome as usual. Peace.